Hi, Exagon, and welcome to this Inspire training video. Today, we're going to discuss RPS alignment. First, inside the software, I'm going to navigate to the CAD tab, select Import CAD. I'm going to import a CAD model into the software, select Open, verify it's correct, and then I'm going to navigate to Alignment, and then I'm going to choose Create RPS Alignment. Inside of here, I'm going to click on the physical CAD model and it's going to extract points. Next, I'm going to go to the Features tab, select Create Plane, and now I have the ability to choose circles. These circles will be automatically projected to the plane after I measure them. Now I will go through and physically take my arm off and measure the points. When I'm measuring the points, I just want to make sure that I'm in the same location that I selected on the bullseye. After I take a couple points, the software will try to go through and physically align to the actual part. On the right hand side, inside of the properties of the RPS alignment, we can see that Inspire has already configured the DX, DY, and DZ based off the features that were selected from the CAD model. Once it is complete, now it goes from weakly constrained to over constrained, and we start to see some statistics appear. Now, if I remove the DZ value from my circle one, it says constrained, and I have zero deviation for my RPS alignment. I can also go to the advanced tab, click on the error of magnitude, overall weight, or component weight, and set weight for the various features used in the RPS alignment. Simply check the box on the particular feature and we will see the statistics update in the properties. Thank you for watching and we hope you were inspired.